Gentlemen, welcome back to your HI Media TV news update. I am your host, and from the Associated Press by Jill Colvin, Stephen Peoples, Julie Carr Smith, and Zeke Miller, Trump picks Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio as his VP. Okay, um, <laughs> so let's talk about this real quick, shall we? Um, Donald Trump being okay um obviously uh you know having an old guard um here's the thing i don't think trump would have picked jd vance if he wasn't so desperate for the moderate vote and you know, after, you know, that Bork assassination of him on Saturday, he, he's kind of been forced to play the gracious unity card here. Because ultimately, before Saturday, uh, Donald Trump was probably not going to win the election. He's still probably not going to win the election. I say probably with bated breath, but ultimately it, I think, really does come down to, uh, I think it really does, uh, let me, let me just, let me, as, as this car drives 20 miles away from the fucking point of this video, like, let's circle around and come back. J.D. Vance is, is going to do a couple things for Donald Trump here. One, because he was a one-time critic. And and in and, and, and criticism of him, like there is, he, he can get the perception that he's willing to work with people that you know were critical of him, which is absolutely not true. JD Vance is is, is a MAGA type through, through and one of you know a, and a currently a Donald Trump dick sucker. Now, this is important for Trump because last time he had Mike Pence, who was you know not only playing you know defend defend the democracy. You know, with all the heinous shit he was trying to do, he was also did he didn't you know it, he 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 didn't refuse to invalidate the election and shit, which it was a procedural thing, anyways. So so functionally, functionally, at the end of the day, um, JD Vance is a young guy who's like more MAGA aligned and will most likely be more willing to take marching orders. This is also a giant fuck you to Mitch McConnell and the Repu and the and the Republican uh, establishment. Why? Because in the 2022 election, which was effectively a you know a red ripple, and all of and and you know the sheer amount of um money that mitch mcconnell like 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 ultimately like republicans lost in state houses all across the country and like a lot a good number of republicans lost their seats as well and jd vance was well, they they made the analysis we need to keep ohio ohio is the one where we can most likely win and we need to fight for this and jd vance at the time was one of the most expensive senate campaigns because they were just dumping millions millions and millions of dollars to keep to get his seat jd vance was not an ex he like he has a history of child diddling like allegedly allegedly uh he was uh, some level of corruption details like some weird money shit but they got him in they got him in at the expense of republicans in arizona republicans in um i think nebraska republicans in oregon Re republicans in new york lots of like lots of republicans at the state and federal level lost their their races because they the support went to go support jd vance of ohio to keep ohio like the ohio senators red here's the problem in with with donald trump like picking jd vance as his income as his vp this gets rid of the incumbent protection that new normally that that normally comes with, you know, that level of stuff. So, 
what happens now, right? Like, Donald, like, Donald Trump, God forbid Donald Trump wins, we're fucked anyway, so who gives a shit. But Donald Trump loses, J.D. Vance isn't able to run for his Senate seat. He won't be able to run for his Senate seat. So now you have a seat that is a lot more is a lot more difficult for Republicans to defend. And because they don't have, you know, that incumbent protection, they're going to have to spend a lot more money to get to that back anyways. So J.D. Vance is good for Donald Trump because J.D. Vance is going to do whatever Donald Trump tells him to do. It's a bit of a fuck you because of all the amount of money. And also J.D. Vance is by far not the, the candidate for VP that any Republican would have wanted. Except maybe the Heritage Foundation on some level, but they're fucking zealots and shit, so. We'll see. I think... I think ultimately he's going to be a... I think this is... I think... GD Vance getting... Not having that Senate seat. If Trump loses the election, which is... Which it, I am not as confident to say that he will at this point. But best case scenario, Trump loses, J.D. Vance loses the seat, and now a pretty important senator seat in Ohio is now up for grabs. Um, otherwise, we'll see what happens. I don't know where things go from here, per se. Um, but, you know... I don't know. We'll see what happens. JD Vance is a is a is is a is a shitty human being regardless. Like a lot of the quotes from his book Hillbilly Elegy, which is what kind of propelled him to the spotlight in 2016, was it, it it's no point. So but regardless. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for listening. I appreciate you, your time, and your listenership. And uh I actually shouldn't be doing this aspect of it. I made an entire post-roll pre-record. I am a terrible YouTuber slash podcaster. Why the fuck do you listen to me? All right, here's the B-roll. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.